All right, so the votes are in, and Space Quest 3 is the winner. Thanks to all the patrons for participating in the voting, and indeed for supporting the channel. So yeah, this is Space Quest 3. This is Pack Billy's favourite Space Quest, in fact. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Should be good. The Pirates of Pestulon. Space Pirates, yes! Wonderful music. I love the soundtrack. I've got some MT32 emulation going on, so... Yeah. I'm not sure if it's actually totally accurate, but I think it sounds good, so... It has been, a, it has been an indeterminate amount of time since Roger Wilco rocketed away from Vohol's burning space fortress. Time stands still for our hero in suspended animation. Its engines long spent, a small escape pod drifts aimlessly through unfamiliar star fields, its course altered many times by small asteroids and space debris. Inside, Roger lies undisturbed in his sleep chamber, but not for long. Ooh. Lonely pod drifting in space for who knows how long. Oh, but something. Something spooky. Just picked it up. Here we go. Oh, look, it's detected our life signs. Or it's detected some rubbish. <laughs> There's something rubbish on this ship. Oh, spooky. Clickety clackety robot. Giant spaceship. Really, is beautiful use of the uh, EGA palette. Oh. I really think there's been a significant step up in the graphics from the previous game. The pod, considered to be nothing more than another piece of scrap, has taken aboard a robot commanded garbage freighter. Unfortunately, these robots have no regard for organics. Oh dear, it's going to flush out us like another turd in the rain, I don't know. <laughs> Roger, wake up! The small pod is jarred by a sudden shock which triggers the sleep chamber's revive mode. As the glass shroud slides back, Roger slowly begins to regain consciousness. Go on then, regain consciousness. Oh, just another five minutes. Oh. Where am I? Whoa! It's voice acting. I did not know it had voice acting. That's something. I wonder if that's the only piece of voice acting, though. <laughs> Look at his wonderful hair. Like, this guy does not suffer from bedhead. All right. Yep, you're in the shit again, Roger. <laughs> you notice that the sounds from the pod grow softer until they are imperceptible. Having served its purpose and taxed its resources, the pod gives a final hum and shuts down. Thank you, pod, for your service. And ooh, we have music. Let's see, what's this? Uh. I guess it's still parser interface, so look, yeah, okay, let's look around. You are standing in a debris-clattered junk bay. An escape pod rests in the middle of the room. There are chunks of metal lying around which seem to be sections of old spaceware. Okay. What's spaceware? I don't know what that means. The eight-pronged plug pr protrudes only slightly from the motivator's exterior. What's a motivator? A closer look at the object on the floor reveals that it is a warp motivator. It looks a bit more high-tech than the other junk strewn about this locale. Sturdily constructed, its only protrusion is a modular plug near its base. Okay, can we take the plug? You can't, it's permanently attached. Okay, uh... What was this thing called again? <laughs> motivator. Okay, so take motivator. 
While relatively small, it seems to be quite dense. I think we're looking at a potential hernia if any attempts to made back manually rel relocate it. Okay. Okay, fine. Let's look at the pod. I have a feeling it's not going to serve us anymore now. Pardon me, this, is, this, pro this program is too stupid to glean your desire from such a wonderfully crafted sentence. Please try something else. Okay, escape pod. Oh, come on, you don't know what the escape pod is? I just came out of it. Come on, game. Oh, my head has fallen inside the... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I can use the arrow keys, that's fine. Uh, let's, let's just walk off to the side and see what happens. Oh, we didn't die on the first screen. Isn't that something? Hey, look, this is like a little access port into the rest of the space station. I mean, uh... A spaceship, we're actually... Oh, look at the shadow! Wow. This is something. Okay, let's look around. Someone, or something, has done a real job on this tanker. Was this the was some space battle? Or perhaps you're not the only one running around in here. Oh. Okay. But, oh, look at that. It's it's Unicron's head. Or something. It, it, hang on. What? <laughs> the guide carcass of the tanker opens up to real, even more junk. A metal head. Press nearby. Look at the head. Wow, an ancient model of BattleBot. I thought you'd hate to run into whatever brought this... I bet you'd hate to run into whatever brought this big guy down. Looks like something poked it in the eye. Oh my god. That is a Transformers reference, isn't it? Like in the in the animated uh, movie. They, they bust out of Unicron's eye. I feel like I'm going to die if I get too close. Look, look at the eye. There are two eyes on the BattleBot head. One of them has been broken. Okay, look at the broken eye. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, let's see. Climb head. Can't from this location, okay. Over here. Uh, let's see. Oh, you're in the game. Click at the top of the screen and blah, 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 blah. Uh, control C clears the line. Uh, and dialogue windows, okay. Right, we have an actual uh, menu bar here. I'm going to save right now just because. Just because. I feel like I'm about to die. And I don't want to lose the tiny bit of progress I've made. Let's see if we can climb head from here. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, look at that. Okay. We're crawling down its esophagus. I wonder if we left something behind, though. Probably. <laughs> we'll see. You find yourself at the bottom of another trash pit. An interesting array of alien artifacts is strewn from one end to the other. A large ship is in the middle, and a small one is off to the side. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a ship. Can we get in it? What about this little thing? Look, a small ship. It's a cute little thing. You've never seen anything like it in these parts. But then where are these parts? Some writing on its exterior reads Bowman was here. Okay, can we open it up? Open small ship. Oops, no, that's not the right thing. Okay. Pardon me, okay, never mind. At least the game's a little more polite about getting things, uh, being confused by what I'm saying. Let's look at the large ship. It's a sleek looking number if you can disregard the junk it's rooted in. It must be a recent ad addition to the collection as everything seems to be intact. Etched on each side is the name Alumin... Yeah, it is aluminum, not aluminium. Aluminum Mallard. On the top is a small hatch. Okay, let's see if the hatch... Can't see it from down here. Okay, climb ship. Wait, did I type that wrong? No. Okay, let's try it from here. Now, well, where's the good location then? Maybe I've got to do it from here. It would be nice if the game would tell me. What about from this side? There is no way to scale the slick ship. Oh. Alright then. Can we stand on these giant Lego bricks? <laughs> look at Lego. They look like remnants of an orbital space station or perhaps some toys for an oversized child. Oh god. You aren't able to scale anything here. Okay, fine. What is this giant golf ball thing? I don't know. A lot of it just seems like miscellaneous num garbage. Can't go that way. Probably can't go this way, no? Okay. 
balls? Pardon? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't know what the balls are. Can I identify a thing by clicking on it? No. There's still no point in click interface, just for just for walking. What about if I go off this way? Aha. No. <laughs> okay. Stuck already. <laughs> Maybe I should go back up and uh, see if I missed anything. Oh. Well, there was an opportunity to die at least. Oh gosh, you've stepped off a metallic escarpment and trumbled into darkness. Twisted, jagged rem remnants of old vehicles reach out to your slow, dark descent, cutting your life short in the process. Yeah, oh god, that's that's gruesome. Look at that. Wouldn't be so bad, except for the sudden stop at the end. Next time, don't get so close to the edge. Yeah, I, th I thought so. At least I saved. Right here. Okay, let's, let's just uh, do this again. The floor is composed of an overlapping mosaic of welded steel plates. The menage of used metal seems, appears to have been cut from a variety of sources. Can we take some of the plates? Guess not. Hmm. Okay. It's hard to get him to examine something when I'm not sure what I'm even looking at. <laughs> like... Oh! Check my inventory out. I'm still carrying the glowing gem from the previous game. I did not expect that. That should help us if we're in darkness, but darkness is not our problem right now. Hello, glowing gem, my old friend. What if I can push the ship? Looks like it's rolling. Rollable. Despite technological advances in strong lightweight ship materials, you can't possibly budget. Okay. Hmm, I'm stuck already. Isn't that just typical? Let's see, except for the one on the left, most of the wires here look dangerously worn. Okay. Maybe we can take one of these wires. I just come back here because I figure there must be some inventory that we need. Ah, here we go. You take the only piece of decent wire available. Okay. We didn't actually take a good look at this part, did we? Uh, Roger, can you... There we go. You are quite impressed by the size of this junk freighter. The skeletal remains of a stripped-down space tanker lie half buried in scrap. Okay. Hmm. Probably no way to go here. No, just only is that a skeleton in the foreground? Oh. It appears to be another metallic menace whose time has come and gone. Hopefully, fate will be kinder to you. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> it's interesting. There's just this sort of oh. I love that. Look at that. The way he goes into into shadow. Changes colour. That's really nice. Some really nice attention to detail here. Like let's let's look at the tunnel. It's quite dark in there, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. It looks like, like a section of another ship or another space station. It sort of resembles the uh Oh yeah, yeah, there was this thing, wasn't there? We've got to do be able to do something with this. This uh Use wire in motivator. Pardon me. Okay, yeah, fine. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Uh, use wire on plug. No. Okay. Yeah, it's got to be something we can do with that. Uh, hmm. So it's a red thing. Okay. Cylinder? No, okay. Yeah, I just don't know what the half of shit I'm looking at is. <laughs> See, we have. Oh! You're still carrying the piece of Orium you picked up on Labian during your last adventure. How it has long since lost its glow. Okay. Piece of SQ approved electrical wire. Okay. So, electrical wire could be used for a lot of things other than simply carrying electrical current we could use it as like a rope or something what is this thing up here I wonder like this 
Uh, it looks like a key. No, it's not, obviously, but... Yeah. Also, it looks like I inadvertently uh, turned off the music in my fumbling with keys trying to find the uh, repeat previous action button. What's boss key? Oh, I get it. You don't want your boss to know you've been playing Space Chris Tra No, 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 no. In fact, you don't want your boss to know... <sighs> yeah. Z no, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, we can't... Wh whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I am my own boss, and my boss knows I'm doing this because, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, there's nothing. Oh, help! Oh, yeah, it's just how to play. <laughs> it's vapor calc. What the hell is this? It's like an abacus. I don't know what that is. It's weird. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck. There's got to be another item I'm missing. There's got to be something I've got to do with that motivator. This R2 unit has a bad motivator, look! Let's see if I can pull the plug. No. I thought it was like, uh, like maybe that's one of those, like a pl Oh, there's a whole extra area here, okay. Fucking hell. Hey look, it's a TIE Fighter! <laughs> I thought it was like a plug that you get like on a, on a, on a Henry Hoover, where you, you, know, you, you kind of pull it out a bit more, okay. Jeez. <laughs> Various I know, I know you're all shouting at me, I'm sorry. Various types of abandoned space cross, little the floor of this intergalactic junkyard. All this place needs is a junkyard dog. You shiver at the thought. Dog me? I love the Acme rocket, look at that. This looks like some sort of tunnel boring implement, okay. What about this, the TIE fighter? Do me a favour and try rephrasing that thought, okay. Uh, look at non-copyright infringing ship. Okay, I, maybe it just doesn't want me to notice that this thing exists. Uh, look at spherical ship. Oh, spherical isn't in the dictionary. Okay, fine. Look at this big thing though. Jup. Shouldn't be Jupiter 5? No, Jupiter 2. Yes, of course. It's the, uh, it's the lost in spaceship. It says Jupiter 2. This baby must have been floating around there for a long time. It doesn't hold your interest for very long. Oh. That's too bad. Oh, look, there's, the, there's, a, look, and there's, there's an elevator. Okay. Buckets are attached to a conveyor. They haul metal debris to a horizontal co conveyor above. Okay. Look at the hand. Somewhere there's an over oversized android missing a limb. Okay. Now I'm guessing we need to get on that uh, on that conveyor. Yeah, I don't think I can get out this way. I feel like there's danger though. There's always danger. Look at this giant cog though. Oh boy, it's a big one. <laughs> Look at this. What's this container? Okay, uh, hmm. some kind of ore or just debris, just like particulate matter of some kind. Alright, let's save and try to get up here. Oh, there we go. He looks kind of unhappy, but he's being lifted up. <laughs> Elevated, if you will. Oh, okay. Is this going to be like that scene in Attack of the Clones? Okay, move, move, move. Alright, you're just gonna get dumped out. There you go. Okay, ow. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, uh, pause game. Yes. Fine, pause. Just won't be taking too long, okay? We don't want to babies playing this game. Okay, hey. Alright, it doesn't actually let me see. Uh, let me quickly do this. Conveyor play is no. Okay, what am I. Just grab, uh, something. Let's grab. Jump. What am I supposed to uh, grab? Uh, what is it? What is it above me? Uh, like a handrail? No. Oh. Uh. Just, just get chomped up. Ooh. Shredded like an Iran Contra document. 
Your many independent plots. Uh, I was reading that. <laughs> You're less than a choice cut, Wilco. Yeah, I mean. I guess I could stand up, that might help. <laughs> 